Okay, let's talk about the journey of problematic porn use and recovery. Uh, I'm Dr. Trish Lee, and in this new playlist, I am going to unravel the journey of Sam and his wife, Chrissy, but primarily Sam, as he realized that his porn habit was indeed creating problems for him and in his life and how he came to the realization that he should work on this for himself. And when he began to, the successes that he began to have. Now, simultaneously in this playlist, I will also be talking about how knowing about Sam's porn problem really impacted me on a personal and professional level. And it really kind of rocked my world, which is why I made the first YouTube video, which has landed me here. And I want to share that journey with you so that you can kind of understand how uh, this transformational journey can happen for all of us when we learn about porn use and what it's doing to your brain, to your mind, and to the behaviors of your mind and body and how that is a silent tsunami that is here to take you out. And that when you decide and commit to leave porn behind, how you might not even know it yet, but that that ripple effect can turn backwards and can have all these positive changes in your life. And it's an amazing, amazing journey. And that's why I want to share Sam's journey. Okay, so let's dig in in this first video as an introduction to Sam so that you can meet him. Now, Sam was a person who was in my life. I knew Sam before the moment that he told me about porn. He was in my office and I was helping him using neurofeedback brain training to improve his brain so that he could focus better and decrease his anxiety. So of course, now I know that consistent porn use is what puts a person's brain in the mode of lack of focus and anxiety, anxiousness. So what I didn't know when I was working with him is that neurofeedback was working and I could see that, but that the reason that it wasn't, there was ups and downs and ebbs and flows and that it wasn't sticking and it wasn't creating this positive feedback loop for positive change was because he was going back and watching porn every single day. And then it escalated to where he was watching porn multiple times a day. So obviously if we're training his brain in the right direction and then he's using his brain in the wrong direction all the other times, then brain training couldn't work for him. That's not what inspired him to tell me what was going on. What happened was on the day when he told me, I was in the neurofeedback suite in my office. And the way that the office is set up is that there's basically in the right hand suite is all of the brain training technology. There's three rooms. My office is over there also. That's where I primarily would hang out and do my thing. And uh, there was one other office that I would meet people for these special meetings. It was a smaller office that was in the main office where the hubs works and where all of the other um, team members are doing their thing. So, of course, in my traditional demeanor, um, be bopping across the office in a positive mood, um, which, of course, working with people for such a long time, I'm able to temper that be bopping when I know people are struggling or when they're in pain or when they're suffering. But because Sam and I had this uh, you know, we already had rapport built and I already knew him and he knew me. I didn't know I was walking into this this day. So I just come walking into the room and, you know, I'm like, hey, Sam, what's going on? Like I normally am. And there he is completely frozen over in the corner. And I know something's off because he's white as a ghost. He's not interacting with me. He's literally frozen in time. And he has a look of panic on his face, but it's frozen panic. What I didn't know until a few moments later is, is that he's completely freaking out under the surface because he's about to tell me something that he's never told anybody before. And I'm sure so many people can relate to this because there's so much shame surrounding porn use for most people. They have a sense that they have a problem and they're dependent on porn, but they don't want to admit to themselves. Well, let's just talk about Sam. This is what happened for him. He knew he had a problem, but he didn't want to admit it. He had a lot of shame surrounding it. He certainly didn't want to tell me someone who he was friendly with, but also was dependent or not dependent, but trusting and that I was working with him in a healing capacity. So I'm the last person he wants to tell me, tell this to, but Chrissy had busted him a few times, his wife, 
had found him with porn a few times in the months up to that. And she gained the strength to say to him, you're going to go get help from somebody or I'm out. And it was three straws broke the camel's back for her. And I will tell you about those in an upcoming video. But in that moment, Sam looks me in the eyes and he says, I watch porn. And of course, I'm like, you watch porn? What does that have to do with anything that we're doing here with your lack of focus and your brain fog and this anxiety that you can't beat? And honestly, before that conversation, you know, I was never a fan of porn, but I really never thought twice of it. Um, and so seeing the panic in his face, I knew the gravity of the situation without fully knowing it. And that is exactly what this girl needs to lead me on the trail of breadcrumbs to try to figure something out. So he blurts out, I watch porn. I'm processing that and trying to, you know, figure out the role that I play in this. Um, so, of course, I reflect it back to him. Okay, so you watch porn. What's going on? Tell me more about that. Tells me that in the last couple months that he had been watching it more and more. And now he had been watching it multiple times a day, which led him to be discovered by Chrissy, led her to that boundary. And he's tried to stop and he's not been successful and that he's found the book, Your Brain on Porn, and that he now realizes that this is probably something that's problematic and that I'm a brain professional. So I'm the one that he decided to come to, especially since we have a nice connection and he felt like he could trust me because he has never told anybody else about it and he never wants to tell anybody else about it. So that's how we met. And after that first meeting, I told him I will dig into this and I will figure out how to help him. And that's a thing I had done in the office. Anytime I work with anybody, really, um, I work with a lot of people who have different neurodevelopmental, neurodegenerative or have kind of acute neuro issues. So if something comes across my desk, I always dig in a little bit so that I can personally help people with the very specific thing they have going on. So that's part of my process, too. So I'm like, OK, I'm going to dig into this porn thing. So I said, OK, Sam. I'm going to figure out my part here in terms of regulating your brain. And I'm going to figure out if there's any other people in this community that can help you on your journey. And Sam went home, but I went to work on figuring it out and finding him professionals. So that is where I'm going to leave you for now. But after that first meeting, I went home with a heavy heart and literally feeling sick about this, that this was bigger than I knew it was, I knew it was going to be different than the normal research that I would do. R&D, as I call it, one of my favorite things where I knew I wasn't just going to go home and look a couple things up. I knew it was going to be big. I started with your brain on porn, which is why Gary Wilson is one of my um, beloved mentors. God rest his soul. He's passed on recently, but he was foundational in that book. And I, I started devouring books on pornography consumption and sexual addiction because I wanted to help Sam. And I knew also that when Sam told me that and how hard that was for him and how it physiologically was messing with him in the moment. And then, of course, I looked back on his brain graphs and I could see how his brain was off the chain, up and down. I knew it. I just couldn't figure it out. I had talked to him about this before. Like, why can't I get this to stick like I can other people? Now I saw it. It's part of the porn cycle. I knew there was going to be this cyclical aspect to it when I saw that in his brain, which has also made me dig in. What's this cycle I'm seeing in brain functioning? How can it be explained? So I'm also going to share that with you in an upcoming video. But the magnitude and the gravity of the situation was apparent on me and my true self that's in there and my ego too, which we'll dig into. So I went home and it was one of those nights where I couldn't stop thinking about it and I'd wake up and I kept thinking about it and it was in my background, which means now it's something I have to go to work on. So stay tuned because the next video I'm going to tell you what Chrissy had discovered in those couple months, what Sam told me about how his habit had developed and how it had escalated without him even seeing it. 
And honestly, he didn't tell me in the next meeting. We both discovered this together. I'm also going to share with you what happened when I referred him out to other professionals in the community and how that went for him and how he ended up back in my office. So stay tuned and watch the next video. And as always, control your brain or it'll control you.